What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the UA Live Break Room. Break scheduled for 2-4, 2021. Guys, thank you for joining us. UltimateAutographs.com, UA Live Breaks tab. Donnie Rollins here bringing you some breaks this afternoon. We got Dave Everding in the house again, uh, which means you made it back for day two. What is up, guys? Let's so get it. Oh, you succeeded the day one test, and you're back for day two. We got uh, we got complete NFL helmets for you guys today. We got platinum helmets as well. We got jerseys, minis, and footballs. A whole plethora of... Uh, 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 a gathering of items for you guys today. A charcuterie board of sports memorabilia. How about that? How about that reference? What's going on, Chris? What's going on, Chris? Guys, good to see you. First thing we're going to do, as we do every time, is get into our dice roller for this afternoon. It's got to be a six or higher. And seven. Math. Five and two gives us seven. Every time we go random and we put the names into the random.org list randomizer, we'll do it seven times. We'll do it seven times. And uh, from there... We will get everybody the random NFL divisions. First thing we're going to do is a rookie of the year. Mini number one. Rookie of the year. Mini number one. If you guys are in the break, Jay, Chris, Kobe, Jonathan, Justin, Chris Castleman, Chris Gibbs, Matt. What's going on, Thomas? If you guys would like to give us two box numbers, we will get this show underway. Had some fun last night with Garrett. Garrett did a bunch of the minis. Did some jerseys, some uh, full-size helmets as well. Garrett had a fun night in here. Um... But thank you guys for joining us yet again, pre-filling up some items for us for this uh, Thursday afternoon. Thursday afternoon, a new part of the schedule. Uh, we also have Friday afternoon tomorrow. I'll be back in the show. I'll be back in the seat for tomorrow afternoon. So we're adding that Friday every week now, which is awesome. So we can keep adding shows weekly, which is great news. But if you guys got two boxes, the divisions are set. We are ready to rock and roll. And guys, best of luck this afternoon. Hopefully we can find you guys some awesome memorabilia. 41-42, let's go. Justin, Justin, thank you for calling out the box numbers. 41-42. As we were going live, I saw a fun fact. I don't know if you guys are familiar. There's a man from Houston that sells mattresses. Mattress. He sells mattresses. He's like the mattress king. He bet all that money on the Astros to win the World Series. Said he would buy everyone a mattress or something like that. Uh, he bet $3.4 million on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers plus three. 41-42. What do you guys think of that? Is he going to win? What, what, what did you say the odds were, Dave? What do you think he, his payout was? I mean, it's it's going to be a minus 105, minus 110. It may probably give him the better odds. Yeah. So probably going to be about a nice... 6.8 mil payout, probably. So he's going to turn... Oh, excuse me, 3.8. Right, so he's going to turn 3.4 into 6.8, essentially. Yes. Which isn't a bad day at the office. JSA COA. Could be a real bad day. Could be a terrible day for him. <laughs> Could be a really bad day. 3.4 million, Chris, that's amazing. First hit of the afternoon, we got Robert Mathis. Robert Mathis. Robert Mathis, go to the Colts in the AFC South. AFC South defensive lineman, Chris Gibbs. I say Chris. Break one. Break number one. Yeah, Chris, uh, Chris says if you got it, that's right. If you got it, you flaunt it, right? That's the largest bet on the Super Bowl this year. I wonder what the largest bet in Super Bowl history is. Who put who it's the largest bet on any Super Bowl game ever? I want to know. Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me in the chat what's the largest bet ever recorded on a Super Bowl game. Second box. This is a really nice double box break. Two really good good players. Two brand new autographs guys we haven't really seen that often. Now this man uh did get tracked down by DK Metcalf in the middle of a game after an interception at the mm -hmm. goal line. Uh, DK Metcalf ran like 26 miles an hour to catch this guy at the opposite end of the field. This is Buda Baker. Buda Baker, secondary player for the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals hit going to and the NFC West for Matt Chandler. Nice hit, Matt. Break one. Buda Baker's got a nice, nice little auto. Kind of gives you a couple letters there. Buda Baker, number 32. Pretty cool. NFC West, 44601. So Buda Baker is one of the best 
defensive fantasy players. A lot of tackles. He'll get the occasional uh, interception there. And uh, he's really good. Racks up the fantasy points. The first, This is the first year I ever did fantasy football with defensive players. And it's interesting because, like, they don't put up a ton of points. But when they do, it's like, dang, that, that is very helpful for my team. Because you don't even realize. So, first time I ever did defensive players this year. My best player was uh, was the Chiefs secondary player, Sorensen, who was amazing for me on defense. Justin says, you're welcome, Matt. There you go, Matt. Nice hit. So those two hits were for Chris and Matt Chandler for our first uh, Rookie of the Year mini break. So we will now move over to Jersey. Let's do a Jersey. Let's do a Jersey. So that was 41-42 for Rookie of the Year minis. 41-42. Let's do a Jersey. We got uh, Jersey. We got 6 and 13 through 18. 6 and then 13 through 18. If you guys would like to give us a box number, if you're in the break, Lisa W. takes the first four. Uh, Lisa actually takes the first five, I think. And then we got David Sparks, Drew, and Michael Walker. And here we go. Four, five, six. The number seven. Seven times on our dice roll for this afternoon. Jersey break number one is ready to rock and roll. And again, guys, thank you very much for joining us on this um, on this little afternoon of breaks. February 4th. February 4th. Is this a leap year? Who knows? Who knows? I want to see. I want to Google something here. You guys would like to give us a box number. We're ready to go whenever you are. But I will look something up. What's the largest, largest Super Bowl bet of all time? Already ahead of you, Donnie. What do you got for me? We've got... It's it's that that three point four. Before that, it was a two point three million dollar wager. Also this year, also on the Bucks. Really? Mm -hmm. So we have a three point four million dollar wager on the Bucks and a two point four million dollar wager. Two point three. Two point three. Wow! Imagine if the Bucks lose by four. <laughs> Bad day to be that guy. Those guys. Bad day to be that guy, huh? 16. Thank you, Michael Walker, for calling out the box number. 16 of a steal out of 50. Really, really good jerseys here. Kamara, Devante, Drew Locke. A couple hidden headliners in this series. Let's go. 16. We have Dante Culpepper. Dante Culpepper, this is a college jersey. So the college rules state that it goes to the player... Uh, the team that the player longest played for, a.k.a. the longest tenured team in the NFL. And we know that Dante Culpepper's longest tenure in the NFL was the Minnesota Vikings. He also played uh, for the Detroit Lions in his career. That goes to Lisa. That is a University of Central Florida, UCF, the Knights. Dante Culpepper, 4462. Here you go, Lisa. Nice hit. Lisa's uh, won two days in a row with me here. Jersey one, yeah, bad beats for sure. Imagine putting two point four million dollars on a football game you can't even play in. <laughs> I mean, you, you're letting, I mean, you're letting other athletes, obviously the best in the world, compete for it. But man, if I if I was putting two point four million dollars on something, I want a hand in there. I want to, I want to give it my shot. But I guess that's what sports betting is. Yeah. We are a victim of it every day. The damn Phoenix Suns last night. <laughs> Phoenix Suns lost to the New Orleans Pelicans. Would have had a nice one, but lost by 20. Dante Culpepper autographed jersey for our jersey number one. J Cell says we were one for five with old Gare Bear last night. <laughs> MD Caps, technically that'd be illegal. That's a really good point. AKA Pete Rose, right? But I'm saying, like, even non-competitive, like, non-competitive stuff, like a fist fight. <laughs> you doing a lot of back alley brawls, guys? Like, a, like a running race. <laughs> a foot race. Wouldn't bet on myself on that. I don't have breakaway speed. We were one for five with old Gale, Gare Bear. That would be illegal to bet on yourself, right? I don't know why. If you're gambling on your team to win, it shouldn't be illegal. 
That's my take. We got a complete helmet break ready to go. If you guys would like to give us a box number, single box break, helmet number one. If you're betting on your own team, I don't see it as legal. What if you bet on your own team to lose? That's different. Or not to cover, or to cover. If you're betting on your... Uh, that's tough. <laughs> or you're betting on the over, you better go get some buckets. Exactly. <laughs> you better hit yourself a home run or something. Chris, thank you for calling out the box number number nine. Number nine. Numero nueve. Tell, I, I wish I could tell Pete Rose that. I would say, man, I respect your game. Charlie Hustle. I'm betting on a division every day. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. Here we go. This is pretty cool. This is one of the best players in this uh, franchise history. We have ourselves a little throwback hit right here. We have a five-time NFL champion. He's a Packers Hall of Famer. A lot of people think he will be, or I think he already made the Hall of Fame. Marv Fleming. Marv Fleming going to the Packers in that NFC North. That goes to David Sparks. What's up, Robert? David Sparks. Complete helmet number one. Let's check. He may have made it in. 606. I know there's like a YouTube uh, series dedicated to people that are like Hall of Fame snubs. But it was made like a two years ago. And uh, Marv Fleming and both Kenny Anderson, guys that we pulled in here, were like two and three on that list. Or one, like one and two. Something crazy. I'm in that break, and you could take care of me. Damn, damn Bears fan. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Funny. That goes to David in that NFC North. <laughs> I made that break and you couldn't take care of me, damn Bears fan. Hey, hmm? try my best. There's only so much I could do. There's only so much I could do. That's uh, John. He's a he's a Packer fan, unfortunately. So. Oh, that is unfortunate. But we don't judge here. We 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 do. <laughs> well, we do. We judge jealously. Right. Uh, what was I just gonna look up? Oh, that was number nine. Robert, let me know what you want to do, my man. Oh, oh I didn't fix the card camera. Didn't even remember that. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we got uh, pigskin. Pigskin football, number 23. Chris, you guys are killing it with the box numbers. Killing it with the box numbers. Thank you guys for continuing to call out box numbers. Uh, Donnie M. F. Rollins did Camara get pulled in the complete? So we released that series last night. So I'm not sure if Garrett had pulled the Camara or not. Um, I will. I could ask him. My favorite football team can't even decide on a name. <laughs> uh, Got a Washington fan over there. That's a Washington football fan. Let's go team, baby. Let's go team. Thomas said, "Did you lose any money on the Bears?" Uh, yes. In my life, about in my life, yes. Have I ever won anything with the Bears? No. Well, beginning of the season, I was on a hot streak, no. and they were upsetting everybody. I never bet on Bears games because I get too attached to them. Mm -hmm. I'll get too angry. Yep. Like I'm already angry, but like if I'm losing money on top of losing my sanity, it's part of the fun. We're gonna have Bears some serious problems. You know what? I did bet when they played the Texans, and they won by a lot. Nice. I did have them in the Texans game. MD Caps is a huge team fan. <laughs> so it looks like Gare Bear did not pull Camaro yet, so it's still alive if we didn't sell it on a retail level. 23, here we go. Guys, thank you for calling out box numbers. Let's keep it going. We have a JSA COA here. Jason, you got it, man. JSA COA. So we got a guy who is famous for uh, off the field antics as well as on field antics. Was drafted out of the University of Texas to the New Orleans Saints. We'll then trade it to the Miami Dolphins. We have ourselves 
Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams on that super grip. Brown Wilson. NFL football, super grip football. That goes to the uh, AFC East. As this item does not have any NFL affiliation in terms of teams. So this does go to his longest tenure. We treat it as a college item. So that goes to the AFC East for Tim Vasquez. There you go, Tim. Tim. Correct me if I'm wrong, Donnie, but let's see. the Saints spent every single draft pick they had that year to get that pick for Ricky, correct? I think that sounds every every pick they had. Every pick they had. Just and I want to say, like, wasn't Mike Ditka involved in that trade too? No, it was um another famous coach, though. Yes, who what? was it? It was somebody. I think it was um, Rex Ryan. I think you might be right. I think you might be right. Whoa, whoa. Blew his load on good old Ricky. Lasted two seasons. <laughs> and then he went to a different team and played better. Yup. <laughs> Gave a hiatus to Africa for a little while. Did some soul searching. He did do some soul searching. Quite a bit of soul searching. Ricky's got a cool story. An interesting story. He also is very cool at like signings and stuff mm -hmm. with inscriptions. Yeah. He's yes, a guy he that is. doesn't so like some athletes, and it's understandable, will like turn down some inscriptions. Ricky's kinda like, yeah, I'll write that. Like another guy is like Pete Rose. He's really good at that. Like he'll write anything you want him to. And I think that is some of the most interesting stuff. Like Pete Rose will inscribe a baseball like I shot the president. Whatever you want him to write, he will. It's really, really cool. That's fun. I mean, that's a guy who is the epitome of I don't give a you know what. Yeah. Right, let's move it right along. What's next, Dave? We'll do uh let's move into the jerseys. That goes to Tim. That goes to Tim in that AFC East spot, which is a good hit. Let's move into the jersey break. If any Secret Service are listening... Yeah, yeah. I, he did not shoot anybody that, that we know of. Let's do a jersey number two. Jersey number two. So we got Lisa with four spots. Tim, Charles, Richard Henderson, and Lisa closing out that break. Lisa was feeling the jerseys today. Lisa is feeling these jerseys. Three, four, six, seven. Richard up to Lisa. Here we go. If you guys would like to give us a box number for Jersey break number two. What were we talking about before, Ricky? Um, big bets on Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember either. Bears and Packers, betting on the Bears and losing a bunch of money. Oh, yeah. Gambling on the dam. <laughs> Gambling on teams that you have, like, favoritism with. I feel like that's always game. Dangerous game to play. Or, like, if you do, if you're a man that is, like, a parlay fan... And your team is the only one that loses. Oh man, that, that one, that one, really <laughs> that, that sucks. The only thing worse than losing a parlay by one is having to be your team. I did a basketball parlay last night for a couple NBA games, and uh, I, yeah, like I said, I had the Suns. They lost, but like the other ones were like minus three, and the team had won by two, mm -hmm. and then another one was like four. Plus four, and the team lost by five. I was right there. You were right. There. I was right there. I, I bet like fifteen Vegas to win. Like, always knows. How the they literally how? always know how. I hate when I'm watching a football game, second, third quarter, and I can literally see how this game is going to get to within one point of the spread that they made two weeks ago. Like, Isn't what, that something? What the hell is going on? They watch the games before they happen. They must. I'm I'm so, fixing so that. Okay, <laughs> let me say that. <laughs> I'm also a terrible gambler, so I think they're fixated on... I'm fixated on the idea that they watch the games. Lost a 10-game parlay by three points two years ago. Pay it was like 50K. Damn. Ricky, thanks for calling out the box number. 18. But yeah, I'm fixated like... 
the Super Bowl already happened. They know the spread. They know the over. Like, dude, so many times. How many times has the over been like within a point? Literally. How do they know? Literally. That's my one of my biggest questions. Like, how? I mean, I get that. Like, that's their job. Like, they're professionals in that area. But it's but, nuts. Dude, it's nuts. It's a guess. It's, it's a guesstimation. Educated. Someone's like, uh, 56. And it's 23 to 22. Dude. 18. JSHTOA. Got a, oh, this is, this is a cool guy. I got a little story about this guy. We got uh, Braden Smith, who is part of the best offensive line in football. Okay. We got a guy out of Auburn, Indianapolis Colt. Indianapolis Colt, Braden Smith. One of the coolest dudes personally in the NFL. Met him at the Indianapolis signing uh, last or two years ago. I want to say it was two years ago. And, and I talked to him for like a half an hour, just about like stuff. Very down to earth human being. Very, very nice. Uh, this goes to the AFC South for Lisa. Lisa W. Jersey too. Just a really cool guy. Like immediately became one of my favorite players just because some athletes at signings, I mean, they are professional athletes. They're a little bit bigger than the normal human being. But he was very down to earth. Very, very cool guy. Braden Smith. Like him a lot out of Auburn. Um, very, very good offensive lineman for that Colts. And they are probably the best offensive line in the game. Quentin Nelson is a three time All Pro in his first three seasons in the NFL. Insane. Seems awesome. Braden Smith. My new betting philosophy is bet against my team, and one way or another, I'm winning, whether it's monetary or good feelings. Yeah, Jay, that's I good. I like that. That's good, Jay. One, you're happy with yourself, and one, you got like free Chipotle. Jersey AFC South for Lisa. Robert looks like we're going to do some cards for you, too. We got complete helmet number two. Complete helmet number two. If you guys would like to give us a box number, let's run it. Box number 18. I am on it. Complete helmet. Let's go. We got Craig, Charles, Jan, Chris, Antoine. Here we go. I like that betting philosophy. Chris Schweitzer, number eight. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate you calling out the box numbers. Seven times on our dice roll. Twan, top spot. Box number eight. Let's try to pull a headliner. Come on. Box number eight. Let's get us a headliner hit. Eight of a 70 box complete helmet series. Really, really cool headliners in this series. I'm a fan of this one. All the headliners. Listed over at ultimateautograph.com. See what we got here. Let's see what we got. JSA CO8. Another running back out of Texas. Two Texas running backs today. This one, Hall of Famer, class of 1991. Again, just some of the coolest helmet designs you'll see. Red stripe, white stripe, blue stripe. Throwback Houston Oilers hit, which is going to the Titans. Going to Craig. Going to Craig. Craig. Break two. I say Craig. Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell. Greg Swift. That's a good name. All right. So, a memorabilia side, we got the Juice Platinum Helmet posted right now. We got Rookie of the Year 2. We have Pigskin number 2. We also have Pigskin number 3. 
posted, we have complete helmet number three, jersey number three, and then uh, Dave got up two more Bowman breaks. Dave, how are we looking on some more memorabilia stuff? Want to give us a breakdown? Yeah. Um, let me see here. Looks like we are waiting for... Got a couple left on that rookie of the year. Three spots left before we can break that. Other than that, we're pretty open here. We need a... We need to fill these spots up. We got uh, six in the pigskin. Oh, we do have one in the juice. One, one spot more left. juice until we can break that. Okay. Yeah. So the juice number one, Dave, you want to get that list updated on the green sheet so we can see everybody yes, involved sir. in that break, which would be cool. If we do that, I'm going to do... Seven in there, wait for one more. We'll do some Bowman breaks too for Robert in just a moment. <laughs> what Flimp Ruckus? That is a name. Flimp Ruckus over on YouTube. Don, are you guys going to get Mahomes and Brady swag for a Super Bowl break? Uh, that is a great question. We're trying to uh, put together a series right now consisting of some really big chase items. So you guys make the assumption. We're trying to do our best there. Get some really big items for our Super Bowl break. We have one break on Sunday. One break only on Sunday. It's going to be a 2 p.m. show, which leads us almost right into game time. So we'll have some fun, and then we'll talk about uh, – what we think about Super Bowl. We're going to do all our prop bets on Sunday. If you guys want to join in on us, we'll be doing some prop bets. Uh, having some fun. It'll just be me and Garrett on Sunday. And uh, we plan on almost rolling out the new design, too, on Sunday, which will be really fun. So we're looking forward to a fun weekend here. Uh, just a heads up, we do, have, uh, we do have a Friday afternoon show this week as well. And we're going to have a Friday afternoon show going forward as well. So we're going to have Friday afternoon tomorrow and then every Friday after that. So we'll have two breaks Wednesday, two breaks Thursday, two breaks Friday going forward. MD Caps Orange Gatorade. What is that from? Orange Orange Gatorade. It's uh Is that the you can bet on what color? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> the Gatorade is that gets That's right. That's away. funny. What was it last year? I think orange is the highest odds. Really? Yeah. Prop bet for Gatorade color. Saw purple is a nice plus twelve hundred. Hey. Tempted. All right, so let's. <laughs> well, this this article is written all about Gatorade color. <laughs> so this is on our oddshark.com. Oddshark.com. It says what color liquid will be poured on the winning coach of Super Bowl Fifty Five? Orange plus one sixty. Red plus one sixty five. Lime green or yellow, which could be a sneaky hit. Yeah. Lime yellow during a game is good. That's plus 330. Clear or water, plus 650. I just don't see no that. Way. Blue, plus 800. And then purple is the plus 130. 130? Oh, sorry. 1,300. 1,300. Yeah. Nice. 1,300. This literally said, like, a brief history of the Super Bowl Gatorade <laughs> shower. Super Bowl Gatorade trends. What color was the Gatorade shower in the past Super Bowls? So Super Bowl, what was the last one? Last year was orange. Last year was orange. The year before that, the Patriots were in blue. Eagles, yellow. I mean, dude. I'm telling you, it's purple. If purple hits, it's people purple. are going to be rich. They're putting those odds up there to scare people away. They already know what's in there. The uh, liquid color in... Uh, Super Bowl 51, New England Patriots, they beat, who they beat in 51? Seahawks? That's, that was Seahawks, right? Or Falcons. No, no, no. Falcons. Seahawks was, Seahawks was 49. Yeah. 51. Color. None. I saw, I saw one had no color. No Gatorade spill. No Gatorade spill. That is unfortunate. FanDuel has a food color manager. They're just going to sneak in. They'll drop a couple yeah, of things right. in there after they know where the bets are. Right. <laughs> guys, thank you for filling up the juice. If you guys would like to give us a box number or the juice. Uh, Jay says both teams are red. Both team colors are red. Red Gatorade. I, you know what? It's funny you say that because I saw some, some on here like the Eagles 
Add yellow, which, I mean, there's no green, but let's take a greenish. Does it always have to match the team? That's how you can kind of make your assumption. Red Gatorade, though? I don't think players drink red Gatorade. I agree. Generally. It's I too much red, too much red mouth. Yeah, it's... That is a stained mouth, mm -hmm. if you drink some red Gatorade. Definitely. Juice one, let's go. If you guys would like to give us a box number, we'll run it. We got uh, Juice Platinums. We got 14, 25, 28, 31. Platinum helmets being the authentic ones. The bigger padding on the inside, speed authentics. You're going to see some shut authentics as well. So padding, like I said, bigger helmets. A little bit more bang for your buck in that as uh, people do desire um, the authentics. Just because they're as game-like as they can be. Let's see. Let's see what the previous one's like. Let me see if there's a direct correlation. Like, Patriots in 53 had blue. Last year was orange. Denver Broncos had orange. Out, out later, though, 48, Seahawks had orange. So there goes the whole matching thing. Seems like orange is the most popular, which orange is, is honestly shocking to me. Orange, from what I remember, is like wasn't the best one. Yeah. This is a great conversation. <laughs> All right. 28. Thank you. 28. What's the best Gatorade flavor? It's definitely not that cucumber garbage. 28 to 35. You ever had the cucumber flavor Gatorade? I don't remember that. It's like, a, it's like a weird... For this. It's like a I weird drink. Powerade guy through and oh, through. Powerade! All the way. I got the best story about Powerade. Mellow is the best flavor. A Powerade guy. Not many Powerade guys anymore. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Powerade stinks. Okay, Whoa. okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> it has its moments. Okay. JSA COA. It's a really, really big hit right here. This is one of my favorite helmets. In the game, we've got a throwback, New York Giants. Lawrence Taylor, and I'll let you guys read that inscription out loud, as I am not allowed to say that here in the UA live break room, as we like to keep it PG, as always. LT! Interesting. Looks like we're back here. Hold on. Looks like we're back here. Hold on. We back as we good? It looks so OBS just disconnected there for a second. Uh oh. Not ideal. Yeah, do you guys see the Lawrence Taylor before it froze? Yeah, it looks like we're good, but it just like disconnected there for a sec from OBS, which is weird. J Books, thank you. Josh, thank you. That was weird. All right, cool. As long as you guys saw that Lawrence Taylor, we didn't, we didn't miss the pull. What's up, Ricky? Bowman Hobby, we just... So, Robert, uh, you know what? We closed that out. Bowman Hobby number one is closed. HTA, Robert snagged the spots in. Rookie of the year, two is posted. So, we'll do some cards in a bit. All right, good that you guys saw the, you saw the pull. I just got this, like, notification that OBS had disconnected. So... Random, random little disconnection there. We got it solved. It froze as you said the inscription. <laughs> there we go. That's good. They're keeping a PG for me. <laughs> keeping a PG for me. I like it. Lawrence Taylor. That's weird. That was weird. All right. Yeah. The man had the mute button ready. <laughs> yeah. right. We got uh, Rookie of the Year 2. That's a mini helmet break. Um, Rookie of the Year 3. Looks like it is posted, Dave. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. If you want to get another uh, Platinum helmet up as well, just to have one if anybody else wants to jump into a Platinum helmet break, that is the... Uh, juice? 
That is the juice. Already up. Look at look at look at you go, huh? <laughs> that is a pro line, Chris. Everything that comes out of those platinum helmets will be a pro line. And authentic. Here we get two boxes for rookie of the year two. Six, seven. 40 and 44. Josh Smith, thank you very much. 40 and 44. All right. Josh, thank you for calling out the box numbers. 40 and 44 for our double box break. JSA COA. A James Spence authentication. James Spence. Our hit is a... Ooh, this is a cool hit. We got a little... Pro Football Hall of Fame helmet. Pro Football Hall of Fame helmet. This is Dolphins legend, Dwight Stevenson. Going to Zachary. Nice hit for you, Zach. One more six two nine. <laughs> hey, the robot is playing. Nice hit, Zach. Dwight Stevenson, Hall of Fame, 98. Longest tenure with the Dolphins on the Pro Football Hall of Fame helmet. Box 2. Box 44. Coming down to the wire here in the Rookie of the Year minis. We got another one right in behind it. I'm excited about the next one, man. Excited. About the next. It's going to be a lot of fun. Beckett COA. Beckett Certificate of Authenticity. This guy probably has... More value right now than he ever has had in his career. He's been an absolute stud in the NFL postseason. We will see him on Sunday. Devin White. Devin White. Kind of flirted with that headliner status now that he's he's been so good for that Tampa Bay defense. That goes to the NFC South for Matt Chandler. A couple of nice hits for Matt today. Matt Chandler. Nice hit, Matt. Congrats, dude. Jay Liang says, if anyone hits a 49ers mini they don't want, I got a Ray Lewis last night for trade. Ooh, that's a good trade piece. Ray Lewis. Should be able to fetch something really nice 49ers-wise for Ray Ray. Hit up Jay Liang. You can send him a whisper over on Twitch if you guys like to keep it secretive. A whisper sounds bad, but that's just like Twitch's form of messenger. Mm -hmm. How would they call it? I mean, whisper sounds like it's illegal. Nice hits right there for Matt and Zach. All right, so we got Rookie of the Year 2 is in the books. We have any other memorabilia stuff full as of right now, Dave? No, I don't think so. Okay, let me run and grab that card camera. See if Stevie 2 jobs is able to... Wiggle that thing back to its correct spot. I think he did. Look at look at the guy. Is right there something door? he can't do? What a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Thank you. I mean, backwards. Yeah, this works even for you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, we can run some car breaks. Stevie Two Jobs is the best in the business with a little bit of duct tape. There you go, Steve. Duct tape, on, duct tape on the card camera. Hey, whatever gets the job done. Absolutely right. You know, we're getting close on a couple of memorabilia ones, but... Okay. Oh! My bad. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got. Plug this thing in. Run some cards. We'll run some card breaks. So what do we have full for our card? We got Bowman Hobby, 
One Bowman, Bowman. Obby and one Bowman HTA. Okay. Give me one moment. Let me go grab those boxes. Yes, sir. So we got a couple card boxes here. A couple Bowman Hobby, HTA. All right. Let's get to it, huh? Let's get to it. C Cell says playing breaks with UA. Uh, the doorbell rings, and wouldn't you know it, it's super duper at the door. Jay Lang says, yeah, the wife doesn't like hearing about me getting a whisper. <laughs> the brakes are getting, uh... Getting some guys in trouble, huh? Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> Get sent to the doghouse, right? My roommate calls the doghouse his vacation house. <laughs> How old is your roommate? R.A.H. You sound so old. I know, right? That's something like not a 25-year-old person says. He's a uh, a bankruptcy consultant, if that oh, uh, fills in the blanks there for you. He's a bankruptcy consultant? Yeah. So he talks to like... So companies that are going bankrupt. Like super in debt? You tell us how to manage it. Oh my gosh. So he is an old guy for being 25. That sounds, sounds like a rough job. Does he like to try to help people come like back? I mean, yeah, that's the concept of it. But okay. If you, if you think about the big picture, the that's company tough. that has no money is paying them more money to tell them how to make money. That's a good money, point. Which is wild. That's a really good point. Oh my gosh. No, no, babe, it's not what you think. <laughs> Let's get this get this card camera fixed up here. All right, we'll do Bowman Hobby first. Chris Wells, Chris Wells, Ricky, and Robert are in on this one. All right, and then we'll run the HTA right after that. We did fix up our card camera, so we'll have that available for this break. Six, seven. Six, seven. Guys, if you want to keep on filling up some memorabilia breaks, we'll run memorabilia right after we break a couple card boxes. Just filled up one. Okay. I tend to make a burner account and mess with the older guys. <laughs> mess with you older guys. <laughs> Did you see something about like uh, Alfred Payton on Twitter yesterday? Was accused of like making a burner account. Uh, it was so funny because the guy's like, guys, I'm not Alfred Payton. And like people are like, that's exactly what Alfred Payton would say. <laughs> it was a great, it was a great Twitter for like probably half an hour or so. Because he was like super defensive about Alfred Payton and like Talking, talking very highly of Alfred Payton. Here we go. Uh, Josh Smith, just curious, how long has UA been around? Josh, that's a great question. Um, man, I've been here over two years, I think, like, I don't know. I believe it's been about five, six or seven. Five, I was going to say five or six. I think it's six or seven. I just looked it up the other day. But we've had a break room since. So, like, we had a break room the whole time. Break room started last November. So, 2019 November. What am I saying? What am I doing? Okay. Shut up, Don. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good luck, guys, on a card break. Here we go. We got a Salvador Perez. Ooh, a purple. Purple in pack one, Shane McCarthy. And right after that, Xavier Edwards insert. Tristan Lutz and Mickey Moniak. Oh, wow. I found you guys by accident, too. Just came up on my face. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yu Chang, rookie. 
We have a Dawn of Glo uh, Glory Varland. Carlson. Adina. Josh, thanks for coming to hang out, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you giving us a look-see. All right, we got a little Simeon, Clevenger, Shane Baz for the Rays. Sam Huff and Nova. So far, our only hit is a Cleveland Indians hit for the AL Central. That goes to Christopher Wells. Shane McCarthy to 250 purple. Longoria, Juan Soto, Belazovic, Castellani, Steele, Walker. Two packs to go. Austin Meadows. We have Matt Chapman, Isaac Paredes, the 499. Isaac Paredes, 499. Another hit for the AL Central and the Detroit Tigers. Final pack in mini box number one. Final pack, mini box number one. Let's see what we got. Joey, Va we got a gold. Come on, come on. Come on. Votto, a Rosa Reina rookie. First Bowman, Austin Shetton, gold. Number to 50, going to the Mariners. Austin Shenton, gold. First Bowman, on card, auto. Number to 50. Beautiful. Austin Shenton is a third baseman. There we go. That's big. That goes to the Christopher Wells NL West. Christopher Wells in the NL West. That's a beautiful hit. When you get these super short print Bowman cards, guys, I'm telling you, there is an incredible amount of value. Wander Franco's Bowman's from 2018. You cannot find one under $1,000. Telling you, there is some serious, serious investments in this Bowman product. Wander Franco is also the number one prospect in baseball. So that helps. Austin Shenton, gold to 50. That's a great, great auto. Lindor, Bayron Laura, Novelli Marte, Jose Mateo. See another big one. Zach Collins, we got a purple here. JD Martinez, purple shimmer. Dane Dunning, pitcher for the White Sox. Dane Dunning. Good pitcher. Dane Dunning. That's a good name. That's a baseball name. Dane Dunning. Star. Justin Dunn. <laughs> uh, Nick Neidert for the Marlins. Rutledge Libertor. Zach Gallen, Jordan Yamamoto, Everson Pereira, Dalton Varsho, Eusenio Diaz. Where do the Mariners go to? I think that's NL West. Mariners. NL West, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? That sounded right in my head. AL West. Oh, I was so I was so confident in that. I thought it was getting a lot better. Is it AL West? Might be. AL West is... That'll be Ricky if it's AL West. Yep, AL West. Okay. Dude. Verlin, thank you for letting me know. I should have known that. Sean Murphy. Tony Gonsolin, rookie. We have a cracked ice. Nice hit. Cracked ice. Shorten Apostle. Shorten. S-H-E-R-T-E-N. First name. Cracked ice. Dawn of Glory insert to 150 for the Rangers in the AL West. Huh. Nice hit, Ricky. AL West. Yeah, I got it now. Now we're rolling Bobby Witt, top 10 prospect in the MLB. He's like seven. And here we go. Anthony Rizzo. UC Kikuchi. Our auto is going to be Alex Spees going to the Rangers. And guess where? The AL West. <laughs> Alex Spees is a, a pitcher. Go. Two scoreless innings in Arizona League appearances. He just had Tommy John surgery. Ricky Guerrero. I got to put on the Facebook. Kiebert Ruiz, and Leote Tavares. Recap the hits. Our first auto, AL West for the Mariners. Ricky G, Austin Shenton to 50. And then we had Alex Spees for the Texas Rangers. A Dawn of Glory, Cracked Ice, Shurton Apostle for the Rangers. Dane Dunning, 
Purple Shimmer, AL Central, Chris Wells. Mike McCarthy, Cleveland Indians, AL Central, the 250, and a Isaac Perez 499. Again, for Chris Wells in that AL Central. Take care of those autos. This is a nice one in the Shenton. Shenton to 50 is very nice. We like to see those, those low numbered hits. Let's go and do HTA now. Stop that on the table. Slap those on the table. I think this is uh, bought out by Robert. Did Dunning get traded to Texas recently? It's a good question. I don't know about that. Either way, it was a White Sox card, Ricky. He had a White Sox jersey on, so we honor that AL Central hit. Ricky's trying to clean house in that break. You did all right, man. You did all right. That Shenton was a nice hit. All right, Robert, let's see what we got for you in our Bowman HTA. Three cards. Looking at three autos per box here. Come on, let's see a big one. Let's see a big one. I'm not trying to steal cards. <laughs> Sounds like you are. I'm just kidding. All right, let's not spoil any hits. And away we go. And away we go. First hit is going to the Yankees. Yandres. Interesting. Yoendris Gomez. Yoendris Gomez. Yankees. Number eight, Yankees prospect, pitcher. Nice. Yoendris Gomez. Programming news, we are going live at noon CT on Friday. Thank you, Ultimate Autographs. Looks like we... Ooh! Wow, look at this. Dude, never seen something like this coming out of Bowman HTA. A farm to fame, Frank Thomas auto. That's sick. Okay. Never seen a card like this in my life. Farm to fame, Frank Thomas. Look at this card. That's yes. cool. Language. Thomas probably could have skipped the minors entirely, but he compiled a near 1,000 OPS in two partial seasons before becoming an instant star in Chicago. This is a really cool card. Never seen a Bowman card like this. I only seen one. It was an insert. It was Wade Boggs, and it wasn't autographed. Robert, how cool is this card, man? Farm to fame, Frank Thomas. Beautiful. And your final card is going to be Christian Koss. This is a new name. Rockies. Christian Koss. That's a case hit. Good call, Chris Hammers. Case hit. Christian Koss, first Bowman. Look at that. Sick. That's a sick. That's a cool, really, really cool card. I like that a lot. Frank Thomas. Nice hit, Robert. Congrats, man. We were looking for something big. Yendris Gomez almost never autographed. Is that right, Chris? Yeah, we saw only one before. It was out of Bowman Hobby. And yeah, it was not autographed. It was Wade Boggs. was not autographed. Which is really, really cool. That's a really valuable card. Was fixing a garage door. <laughs> Take good care of this card. Not numbered, but definitely a super short print right there, man. Take good care of that card. We filled up complete helmet three and jersey three. So we'll keep it rolling. Let's keep it going. If you guys are in this break and would like to give us a box number, please do. Yeah, Robert, we do have more of those posted, I believe. Complete helmet three is ready to go. Travis wants number seven. Thanks, Travis. Appreciate it.
All right, David down to Travis. Let's do it. Box number seven for break three. Seven of seventy. Here we go. Huh. Really, really cool helmet. JSA COA. Check this out. Saw this guy a little bit earlier on a football. I think this one is going to be huh, a little bit more meaningful here on the full size helmet. We've got a puff, puff, run inscription. <laughs> that is really, really cool. Going to the AFC East. Chris Wells, what a hit. I love that inscription. Christopher Wells. Four, six, six, seven. Complete. Moment three. That's it, Chris. Congrats, dude. Travis says fourth break in a row, AFC South. That's where your team is, though, I thought, right? That's where you're that's where you want to be. You want to be in that Texan spot. I know we haven't hit a Texan. That's where you want to be. Nice hit, Chris. Let's go to oh, we got pigskin two is full. Pigskin two is full. Charles, David, Chris, Michael, Tim Vasquez, David Barrar. Pigskin 14, 22, 24. We're going to do box 14. Chris, thank you for calling out the box numbers. Five, six, and seven. David up to David. Perfect. Box 14, pigskin football. Fourteen and fifty, here we go. All right, we got a Schwartz COA here. Schwartz Sports. Good. Nice running back hit right here. Now this does say Washington Redskins, so we will call this a Redskins hit. Clinton Portis. Clinton Portis. Check it out. A little Redskins action right there. Now known as the, the team. Yo. Now known as the team. Clinton Portis. That goes to the AFC um, NFC East. He holds the record for... Largest fantasy performance in a single game. Is that right? Of all time, yes, sir. He had like six touchdowns on the Broncos. Nuts. Wow. In one, in one game. Let's go, Clinton. How many how many points do you know how many points it was? It, like, was? it was like sixty two or fifty eight or something. Well Camara just had six against the Vikings. Yo. He had got me like fifty five. Mm -hmm. It was it was high fifties, I know minimum. So I remember one year I also had Joseph a die. <laughs> and he had scored like he had scored like six touchdowns in a game for me before. Sean Alexander that one year. I'm a big fan. He had like he five is, forty. What? Cover. He as well. Yeah, he he is an instant like Hall of Famer. He's a bad man. Alabama. You ever see images like videos of him playing at Bama? No. Just just like just so good. Damn, nice hit there in the uh, the NFC East with the Washington Redskins. Let's do another jersey. 
That was box 14. To a jersey, David, Chris, Chris Wells, Jeanette, Zachary, and Travis. And Verlin. Verlin, thanks for closing that out. Five, six, seven. There we go. Chris, let's do it. If you guys would like to give us a box number for jersey break number three. Tattooed Tyrant. That's Travis Blankenship. 13. Travis, got your AFC East this time. AFC East for Travis. No AFC East for Now you know what's about to happen. Thirteen. Thirteen. JSA COA, we have ourselves a Green Bay Packer. Green Bay Packer, the 1956 Heisman Trophy winner with Notre Dame. Notre Dame, Mr. Paul Hornig recently passed away. Actually. Green Bay Packers legend, Hall of Famer, Paul Hornig. Going to Jeanette in that NFC North spot. Jersey three. Four, four, six, seven. There you go, Jeanette. Paul Hornick, Green Bay Packers legend. Seriously, like. Anything else full for memorabilia, Dave? Yeah, we got a. Uh... You can pull that jersey. Just the jerseys. Okay, jersey number three. Yep. All right, we do not have anything full yet. We did get, we did fill two more uh, Bowmans. Okay. Um, and then we are so close on the juice. We need one more. Okay. Did you break pigskin number two? That yep. Clinton Portis, right? Yep. Should be black, right? Yeah. So we need one more on the juice. About halfway with that rookie of the year. Halfway with the jerseys. Halfway with the helmets. Okay. No, not quite. Looks like we're rolling. Yeah. We did just have somebody get into that prism. First prism spot sold. Okay, so we do a little, maybe a little Panini prism football. All right, now we're going to run Bowman HTA number two. We're going to run Bowman HTA number two now. And six, seven. Yeah. Better get the divisions right, Dave. You got to better be my backup. Got you. You got to let me know if I'm being stupid. NFL street memory. NFL Street. No, I mean the MLB divisions. Oh, that. Dude. Oh, that one's going to the Bigs. I uh, was not nearly as well versed in the Bigs as I was on <laughs> NFL Street. How about MLB Slugfest? That game rocked. Rocked. <laughs> that game probably still rocks. Oh, yeah. That game probably still rocks, seriously. Wailing on people while you're on that was like That was like PlayStation 1, 2. Yeah, I had that on uh, GameCube, I remember. GameCube, that. dude. How fun. Most timeless system. GameCube, baby. Think so? I think so. I think PS2 is pretty timeless. Yeah. All right, guys. Good luck. We got Chris Wells and Robert Turley in running this Bowman HTA. We'll do Bowman a uh, hobby right after this. The difference between Bowman HTA, Bowman hobby, five bucks per spot. We've got three guaranteed autos per box here in this one. And then you've got two autos in the other product with a couple numbered hits, variations. A lot more cards. We got a purple. We got a purple to start this box off. We got a Los Angeles Dodgers. Brandon Lewis. This could be a really good hit. Brandon Lewis for the Dodgers, numbered to 250. Brandon Lewis is the 2019 Baseball America Rookie All-Star Selection. Batted 369. The Dodgers are in the NL West. Robert Turley, that's a nice hit, dude. Not a first Bowman auto, Brandon Lewis, but a nice card, regardless. Next hit is going to be Trey Harris for the Braves. NL East. NL East, Chris Wells taking the Trey Harris. He's a guy we see kind of often in this product. Hmm. 
Trey Harris is an outfielder. Uh, untamed photos. Did I win Clinton Portis? Who do we mark for the winner for that? For the NFC East in the football. Third card is Ethan Lindau. Ethan Lindau is a pitching prospect for the Philadelphia Phillies. 5-2 and two with a 2.6 ERA last year. 2018 short season single A All-Star. Tim Vasquez, I think you did. You did. For that pigskin? Yes. Yes, he did. Tim, you did hit. You did hit that Clint Portis. That's your second win of the day, I want to say. So that also goes to that NL East. Chris Wells hits two. Nice purple Brandon Lewis in that box, though. And now we'll roll right into the hobby. Come on, we need to see something big out of the hobby break this time. Let's see something large out of hobby. Let's see something large out of hobby. Come on. Thanks, I'm a rookie. No problem. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. All right. Same list as number two, Bowman Hobby. Here we go. Come on, let's see a big one in Bowman Hobby. Let's see some numbered cards, some first Bowmans, some of the bigger rookies. Five, six, number seven. Two Chrome autographs per master box here. Bowman Chrome 2020. Filled up the juice as well. Successful little Thursday afternoon break. Having some fun here in UA Live break room. Right now we're doing a couple card breaks. All right, guys, here we go. Thank you guys for helping us fill up another Bowman card break. All right, here we go. The reason I put the top pack on the bottom is because the majority of the packs, we've seen that auto in the very first pack. So it almost like kills the surprise in the first pack. Cannon Smith, Corey Lee, Trevor Larnock. Nothing big. Nothing big in pack one. Insert, but we're seeing a lot of those inserts and stuff. That's like a set you try to collect. You try to get all of them. Kiura, Sutsugo. There's Apostle again. Shurton Apostle. Rangers. Rangers, AL West. Robert. Ooh, Wander Franco, number one prospect in baseball. Pete Alonzo. Michael Baez, Geraldo Pedromo for the Diamondbacks. J-Rod, another big prospect. Okay, Seattle Mariners are going to be incredible in the near future. Kyle Lewis, already rookie of the year last year. They have Jared Kelenic and Julio Rodriguez, who are two of the biggest outfielding prospects in the MLB. Two, like, instant all-stars. Joe Ryan. If you, it's, too, it's not too late to jump on the Mariners bandwagon. I may buy a Mariners hat. So I could say I was a fan when they were bad. Okay. Ryu, Isan Diaz, looks like we got a Jackson Kawar, 499. Royals, AL Central, Chris Wells, Jackson Kawar, Jeter Downs, and Tristan McKenzie. And here we go. Here we go. Let's see a nice auto. AJ Puck, John Means. So we got an auto. Kevin Smith, yet again. Seeing this guy. Seeing this guy quite a bit. Again, it's a stud prospect. Minor League Pitcher of the Year in 2019. This goes to the NL East for Robert Turley. Kevin Smith. He's kind of jumping around. We've seen him quite a bit as of recent. 2019 Minor League Pitcher of the Year. A Mets prospect. Kevin Smith. Box 2. All right, here we go. Munoz, Tim Anderson, Sam Huff, Stat Tracker. 
I like that they add the inserts into every pack. You're almost getting an insert every pack, which is kind of cool. See some value almost every single time. Robert Poison's supposed to be really, really good. Bobby Bradley, we got a purple. Purple Bowman Crow, Mike Ciani for the Reds. Purple Shimmer, Mike Ciani. NL Central for the Reds. Robert Turley, Brett Beatty. Poison? P-U-A-S-O-N, Robert Poison. Say that one. Glad, uh, Glaber. Glaber Torres, Tatis Jr., CJ Shatham for the Red Sox, Patino, and a Cardinal there at the end. Couple packs left in Bowman. Hobby, number two. Luzardo, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., George Kirby. Walks per nine innings, 0.5. That's good. Wow. That's very good. That's incredible. 0.51 walks per nine innings. So that means he walks one guy every two games. Dang, that's insane. That's very good. Alvale, rookie. Nine pitch, so probably even more. Good point. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. We have a blue Blake Rutherford, another White Sox prospect. White Sox are loaded with prospects. AL Central, Chris Wells. Blake Rutherford to 150. A blue to 150. Floreal, Forrest Whitley. Here we go. Final pack. Final pack. Nick Solik. Cattell Marte. Michael Massey for the Royals. Royals AL Central. Michael Massey. Beautiful autograph. Royals. Number 28 Royals prospect. Popped first pro homer in Burling Burlington. Closed pro debut with a 311 average. Batted 324 in his U of I career. So we got a local guy. Undrafted out of high school, Michael Massey. Might be local. Michael Massey for the Royals. Tyler Stevenson and Blake Rutherford base at the end there. Let's recap. We got a Blake Rutherford for the White Sox to 150. We have a Purple Shimmer for the Reds, Mike Ciani. We have a numbered Jackson Kawar to 499. We have the Kevin Smith pitching prospect. And we have Michael Massey for the Royals. Not bad at all. Let's get these sorted. Work on sorting them as soon as possible. And shipping them as soon as possible. What's next on the agenda, Dave? Oh, we got that juice. Okay. That's it. Okay, juice. Juice is ready to go. Lawrence, Josh, Jason, Steve, and Travis. You guys like to give us a box number for juice number two. What do we got here? We got 25, 14, and 31. 25, 14, and 31. Five. All right. Looks like we're going to do box 31. Travis, thank you for calling out box numbers for me. Appreciate that as always. Let's get at it. Pitter patter, let's get at her. It's from a TV show. And then uh, NHL referees had started saying that. And I heard like a mic'd up NHL video. And they said, so that's what I. That's funny. It's from a TV show called Letter, Letter Kenny. You ever heard of it? No. It's like this, it's a comedy on Hulu about like these like super. Canadian guys okay. that they, they make money like selling food out of a food stand. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the show. It's called Letter Kenny on Hulu. It's hilarious. I think it's stupid funny. Is it a Hulu original? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. 31, let's do it. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Oh my gosh. DraftKings get up to 25K instantly by entering our $55 million prediction challenge. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. 31. That show is hilarious. Jason, you've seen it. I think it's hilarious. I knew there'd be one guy that got me in the chat. I knew we'd have one. And here we go. Yes. JSA COA. Thank God. 
Thank God. Trubisky. <laughs> Jason Pilara. Mitchell Trubisky. Pro line for the Bears. Maserati Mitch. Money Mitch. That's our boy. That's our boy. Jason, great hit. Maserati Mitch. Juice 2. 6, 4, 6. Jason, great hit, man. That's a Riddell Pro line for the Bears. Me and Garrett are probably the only people that get excited about Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> I think he's going to have a... Uh, a great career with the Patriots? It's going to be Pittsburgh, but yeah. Probably. Pittsburgh, you think? I think he's going to Pittsburgh. I could see him going to, to the Patriots. I would not be surprised if he had a, a second coming of his career, though. I could see it. I could see it. I mean, there, there was just too much pressure. I mean, he didn't fun. even ask for it in the Bears. Not his fault. Yeah, I mean, we picked him to, we wanted him to be the greatest ever. Exactly. All right, guys, we'll do a little final call. If there's anything else you guys would like to jump in on for this afternoon. Is there anything else you guys would like to help us fill up for this afternoon? Yeah, so now we do have a doubleheader today. A little doubleheader. We got Garrett in house later for a Thursday night show. Dave, anything else close? No, we're not even halfway on any of them. Of that is no problem. What we got is that, uh, that complete jersey. We got four spots left. We can fill that before, uh, right. before we close out. Four spots left in jersey. Let's see if we can fill it up. We'll give it a few that. more minutes. Give it a few more minutes. See if we can fill up the jersey break. Uh, nobody believes me. Fitz Magic going to the Bears. Let's uh, talk. But for how long? One year? Yeah, well, exactly. Because if we sign anybody for longer than a year, what are we doing this year? We're not doing anything. No. No, I don't. I would rather us not get Fitzpatrick. So they're going to spend so much money on this guy, and then he's going to get frustrated when we stink. I would rather us have Nick Foles start this year. I, uh, I was going to say, I agree. And pay him what he we got, and just save cap, mil. save money, rebuild this. We're not going to win exactly. next year. I agree. Probably going to lose Allen Robinson. The only way we don't is if we bring in Deshaun. The only way I even want to do. I do. I do, but like, I don't know if that's gonna. Will it be the best move the for right us? Spot. Exactly. As long as twelve is with Green Bay, we're not gonna win the North. Ah. You fought me on we that before. We won it two years ago. With yeah, a, this is MVP Rogers with an abysmal with, defense with Devontae. Yeah, Devontae, and then Aaron. Honestly, Aaron Jones was scared. A lot better. He has progressed so much. Yeah, exactly. They got him for cheap. They don't have to pay him anything. I think he's a free agent after next year. Is he? That would make that would sound. Actually, you know what? He might be a free agent this year. He was in the 2017 draft with right. with good old Mitchie. That draft is unbelievable. That's an awesome draft. Hey, there you go, Matt. Three away from that jersey getting full. Three left in the jersey. Thanks, Matt, for jumping in. Three left. Let me link the break. Jersey four, right? Yes, sir. Looking at the break page, we got three left in that jersey. We Oh, two left in that jersey. We got five left in the Rookie of the Year mini. See if we can fill up this jersey. Two left okay. in our jersey. Two left. But yeah, Watson would be great. But will we win with Watson? We'll go 8-8. Eight eight. Maybe 10-6. Let's not get too crazy. Maybe. Now. Maybe. Depending on the strength of schedule. And which, it's which our schedule is hard next year. Our schedule is we've already we already got it. Yeah, I think we are. I think we're in the bottom third of difficulty, I believe. Uh, Jay Liang, are you guys putting any new breaks in tonight? We believe so. We believe we'll have something new for tonight. Want to get something new every day going forward until the Super Bowl. Have a little okay. Super Bowl extravaganza show. The Gare Bear and myself. Oh, yeah. 
the Super Bowl party I want an invite to. You did get invited. You're invited here every day if you'd like. Well, no, I'll be here. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah, that will be. But fun. yeah, I mean, it's perfect. Right up to game time. If it's magic for the Bears, would be terrible. One year, we're gonna waste money on that. If if we could somehow get out of our Nick Foles contract, I'm all for renting a quarterback for the year until we can get rid of Pace and Nagy. But I know that's not what our direction is, or else we no. would have gotten rid of them this year. Right. Our direction for Pace and Nagy is we're going to keep them. That makes me want to cry. Like, Pace should have been fired long ago. I, I can I can understand him being kept on because of the Mac trade up until last year, but after seeing what happened this year, yeah. Dude, Nagy, I think I have never been lower on Nagy. Then right now. Mark Tressman up in here than Matt Nagy. Mark Tressman? Yep. Did you just say Mark Tressman? Yeah, I did. Matt Nagy. I think I got like a I got like a like a PTSD on my Yeah, yeah I did too. But I'd still rather have him than Nagy. Nagy wrote writes one trick play a year and he's like, all right. There's the ticket, baby. <laughs> let's ride. Give it to Cordero. Super Bowl bound, boys. But hey, let's pay Tariq. Here we go. Unbelievable stuff. We're heading to the bowl. But hey, Donnie, he's a character guy. Who cares? He's a character guy. The locker room's all behind him. Matt. Who gives a damn, you know? <laughs> uh... Come on, fellas. Two more spots. Then Donnie and I can go have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get some grub. But we got, like I said, we got uh, two breaks. Got that double header. We got a double header today. If he goes if he goes to them, I get a free spot in a break. I did see a couple things talking about him going to the Bears. I'm sure. Ryan. Ryan fits magic. Yeah. Because if they don't get Watson, I'm assuming Tua is going to be their guy. The Dolphins. I've also seen talks of Tua coming to Chicago. I've seen that too. Dude, every free agent quarterback I've seen. Yesterday, I saw Andrew Luck coming to Chicago. Stop that. Saw it you on Twitter. Saw it on Twitter. I think it came from Pat McAfee's show that said, like, we could see Andrew Luck coming back to the NFL. And everyone's like, Andrew Luck to the Bears. Like, Dude, chill out. I could see Andrew Luck coming back. That would be the last team you would want to go to. The one with Bears? The Swiss cheese of the offensive line after he just retired because he got beat up so much. You'd probably, no dude, honestly, you probably want to go back to the Colts. Truly. I mean, their offensive line has never been better. It's insane. I say it's it's the best offensive line in sports, like well in football, <laughs> being that there is no other offensive line yeah. in any other sport. But yeah, I probably I can't think of the Niners weren't too great this year, were they? Their offensive line, their offensive line, they're they're offensive line was like good in the talks of it, but I wouldn't say they're. I mean, their the Colts offensive line pushed the defensive line five yards every other play. Yeah. Nice. They're amazing on the offensive line. I think if if Andrew Luck had serious consideration to come back. The Colts would welcome him with open arms. I can't imagine him not. And I can't imagine him wanting to go anywhere else. Right. He probably still lives in Indianapolis. Probably lived there his whole career. Or he moved to California. He bought yeah. a beautiful house. Yeah. Jay Liang says, I'll buy the other two spots. You're the man. Thanks, Jay. There we go, Jay. Thank you, Jonathan. Johnny, you want to give us a box number? We got uh, six. We got 14, 15, 17. 6, 14, 15, 17 for Jersey 4. Thank you, Jonathan. And he wants box 17. The man. The man with a plan. The man with a plan. Verlin, 15. Verlin just missed it. John just beat you to it. Dream scenario? We get Watson. We keep Allen Robinson. Get rid of Tariq Cohen. We prove we don't need Tariq Cohen. That was we, the we one need signing him. that we came away with last year. Yeah. That, one. that was our big off-season deal. Our back, However, our gadget running back. I met Tariq Cohen in person. Very, very nice human I, being. I bet. Very nice guy. I bet. Um, however, we don't need him in the best. No. He could be successful somewhere else. Yeah. Montgomery is not a bad option. Montgomery is awesome. Thousand-yard rusher this year. Rusher. Thousand-yard rusher this year. There we go. Chris, my man, Chris. We are all full, Donnie. Looks like John Lang did not did not snag those spots. Stan Hope. Okay, no problem. Jay, Jay's man. got a spot anyway. So, I say dream scenario. We get rid of every single draft pick we have because we don't trust Ryan for Deshaun. That's a good point. 
Get rid of it. We don't need it, but keep everything else we've got. I mean, dude, let's not make them make mistakes. Exactly. Let's not let them make mistakes. Let's buy something that we know is going to be good. Jersey 4. Sold out. Yeah, oh, it, it, you just missed it. Chris Stanhope closed us out. Chris, thanks for closing us out, man. We appreciate that. And away we go with the randomizer. We got box 17 already ready to rock. Already ready to rock. It's a lot of red red in that sentence. Here we go. 5-6. Mm -hmm. And number seven, Jay, bottom spot, Verlin, top spot. Here we go, box 17. Let's see if we can pull some fire. And guys, we do have a mini that's relatively close to closing. We'll give it a few more minutes, see if we can knock out that mini. If not, we appreciate all the support for the UA live breaks for this afternoon. Had ourselves a fun little afternoon today. Broke a bunch of how, how, uh, Bowman cards. A couple Platinums, a couple Completes, a couple Jerseys, a couple Minis, a couple... We went all over the board today. 17, here we go. JSA, COA, our hit is going... How fantastic is that? How fantastic is a Joe Montana? Joe Montana, headliner, pull. Going to the 49ers. 49ers in the NFC West. Who's got the West? Chris Stanhope, closer, magic. Joe Montana, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful jersey. I think Shane just framed one of these two, and it looks fantastic. Chris, let me know if you want us to hold on to that for a frame job. That would be an amazing piece. Great hit. Great, great hit. Joe Montana. 49ers custom jersey. John Liang was chasing 49ers. He just missed those last two spots. And it ended up being Joe Montana. Unbelievable. Very nice hit in box number 17. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Anything else on that mini, Dave? Any more spots taken on the mini? No. Nothing after Chris. He closed this out. Close this out. Closing time. Time for us to go on. Alrighty, guys. I think that's going to do it for our afternoon of fun here. Ultimate Autographs, live break style. Appreciate everybody for jumping in with us. Chris, way to close that out in style. Joe Montana. We do have another show tonight. If you guys missed out today. Thank you, Steve. If you guys missed out this afternoon, we will have some breaks carry over. And if uh, we, you are in any break that did not fill up here this afternoon, it will be pushed back to our 8 p.m. show which will be hosted by uh, none other than the Gare Bear. We'll have some fun with you guys this uh, this this evening. Until then, guys, I think that's going to do it for everybody here at Ultimate Autographs. And again, thank you guys for your support for all the uh, for all the boxes today. We're going to wrap it up. Donnie Rollins, Mr. Dave, we will over. see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow afternoon. We do have an afternoon show tomorrow, 12 p.m. Central Standard with your boy. Start the weekend off right. Right. Super Bowl weekend. I'm very excited about it. Guys, stay safe. Everybody take care. And we will see you guys very soon. 8 p.m. Garrett Campbell's back in action.